Good morning. Welcome to Encounter Christ Church. More like a coffee talk today. Make sure you got your coffee. No, not sponsored yet. Still working on it. When Dunkin' Donuts sponsors a church, we know the second coming is very close. <laughs> they're not exactly Christian friendly, but they're way more friendly than that other place that I refuse to shop at. Okay. Did I promise I'd talk about money today? I'm sorry. I'm not talking about money today. Uh, I know I, I went to seed time and harvest and got some of that done, uh, but uh, today's not today. And today we have Bella, our church dog, with us. So uh, it's always cheerful when you have puppies with you. All right, today's sermon is titled, Time for Warriors. All right, my job as your pastor is to equip the saints for battle. That's my job. All right, so what are we in a battle right now for? Well, everything. Everybody turn to 2 Corinthians. No, stop. That's the next verse. 2 Timothy 4. 2 Timothy 4. Now, remember, in this church, we use something called the Bible. This is a Bible. A lot of churches have stopped doing that, do the sermon nets for 25 minutes, and that's why we don't have saints equipped, and that's why our country is failing currently. So 2 Timothy 4. Everybody there? All right, let's go through this. And they shall turn away their ears from the truth. Let me, no, no, pastor reading in the wrong spot. A charge thee therefore before God and the Lord Jesus Christ who shall judge the quick and the dead at his appearing in his kingdom. All right, so now we know there's going to be a judgment for people. Preach the word, be an instant season, out of season, review, re, reprove, rebuke, exhort with all long surfing and doctrine. What's our job? Okay, our job is to do what? Preach the gospel, heal the sick. Cast out devils. When? Always. Or if I'm going to be a warrior, am I always ready to fight? Yes. He's telling me always beat back the devil. He's not saying sometime. He said always. All right. So why? Well, he's getting ready to tell you. <clears throat> For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine, but after their own lust shall they heap to themselves teachers having itching ears. And they shall turn away their ears from the truth and shall be turned into fables. But watch thou in all things, endure afflictions, do the work of the evangelist, make proof of thy ministry. For now I'm ready to be offered at the time of my departure is at hand. Okay, so now he's in prison. He knows death's there. Now, Paul's been wanting to go home forever, so it's not like he's not looking forward to this. He's ready to go, but he's telling people, here's what's coming. Again, it's like when your mom would always say the best for last. She would review everything, and before she went out the door, she would make sure you understood what your job was before she got back home. What's he say again? They're going to get people that do what? They're going to turn their ears away from the truth. It's going to become fables, <clears throat> and they're going to go to their own lust, everything they want to do, and they're only going to go hear a pastor that makes them feel good about themselves. Every day is a Friday. We've, we've seen the ministry go into motivational speaking. Now, I want to help you with something from a psych level. You cannot motivate anybody. We have to motivate ourselves. You can inspire, but you can't motivate. Motivation is an internal thing. Inspiration is an external thing, so you'll know. So the term motivational speaker is wrong. Um, but how many have been to a church that all they do is try to inspire? They don't want to make anybody mad, don't want to make anybody feel uncomfortable, the gospel by nature is offensive. It's either you are or you aren't. You're in or out. It, it's up or down, hot or cold. It, it's not an in-between. The gospel's not gray. Jesus never said he was gray. So why don't we think that God's going to change for me? Now, we've allowed kids to think that things change for them when we lowered the standards of everything that they do, but heaven hasn't lowered a standard. So what we've done is we only go to a church, and people tell me this, they have great music. Well, they have great kids' programs. Well, you know, I, I, he's a cool dude. He wears shorts. He sits and drinks coffee while he talks to me. And this is more like a coffee talk. <clears throat> if you ever watch Kevin Zeta, I'm doing the same thing Kevin does. Um, I'm even wearing a ball cap like Kevin did. Now, Kevin's bald and I'm not. So I think Kevin does it to keep his head warm. Uh, today, it's just been one of those weeks. So I decided to wear a ball cap. But am I getting out of this what I want? Well, let's look at this because we need warriors. If somebody's telling me what I want to hear, can I become a warrior? Well, let's look at this. Did my players, when I was a high school coach, ever want to do half the stuff I wanted to do at practice? The answer is no. 
it normally involved running, weight training, doing a lot of stuff that they absolutely hated, and running the same play 45 times till we got it right. We won't naturally do this for the most part. Now, my, my boy C-Bum last night won uh, his sixth Mr. Olympia and retired. To do bodybuilding, that's why I always liked it and why I like powerlifting, it's a one-on-one -on -one sport. I'm competing against me. Either I have the discipline to do it or I don't. But at the, de at the end of the day, I, the only guy I can blame is me. That's why I like individual sports. Although I did a team sport, but it's five individuals on the floor at the same time. So if I'm getting my ears tickled, am I getting what I need? Look at my mentor when I was in college. He was merciless on me, merciless. For three straight years, he was merciless. But he was training me to be him. He was training me to be the best. If he wasn't mercifully on me, I don't achieve what I'm supposed to, and I'm not here today talking to you, and I don't do what I do around the world, and I don't write books, and I don't have a podcast, and I didn't have a radio show. So Bella's trying to get active in the sermon right now. So remember that. Get your dog inspired by Jesus. So do you want your ears tickled? Yes or no? Well, if you do, you're not in our church because I'm not very nice most of the time. I'm going to tell you what the Holy Spirit wants you to know. Paul's already said people are going to go after their own lust. What do we have right now? We have a country completely in decline, and we've got an election. Actually, we've got an election in Michael Jordan plus one. Uh, there's Michael Jordan days left till basketball season. Why am I doing this? Because I'm a Carolina fan, but it's a joke. What was Michael Jordan's number? Not a friendly crowd to North Carolina. Oh, somebody does know. Okay, I'm not going to tell you, though, because if you're from North Carolina. Now, we have people that watch in five, four continents, I think. So, But I'm from North Carolina, so I'm a homer. So it's 23 Michael Jordans till basketball season. That means it's 24 Michael Jordans or 24 days. I just gave Michael Jordan's number away, didn't I? Till election day. Well, one side likes to tickle ears and just tell you, Everything's fine. Well, I don't need Kevin Bacon now from Animal House going, you know, running down the sidewalk. All is well, all is well. It's not. We're in complete free fall and decline, and we're 24 days away from communism. Now, you get to choose. That's not God's choice for you. Now, why is this such a big deal today? Well, I'm going to be covering this every Sunday till then. Go to 1 Peter 5.8. If you haven't figured it out, I'm using King James today. It'd help if I wasn't in James. I was like, man, that scripture doesn't look right. All right, everybody ready? All right, twofold here. Now, so they want to tickle. Somebody help me spell tickle. Tickle ears. All right, is this what you want? Now, I try not to call out pastors, but we're getting to the point where I don't have any choice. And what, who am I taking the lead from? Mario Marillo. We were blessed enough, Patricia and I, to spend five hours? Mm -hmm. Five hours with Mario and Lance. Lance Walnu and Mario Marillo, who's, they're both fabulous. Mario has started to call out members of what we call the religious establishment that have turned their back on Christ. Well, I have one with seven campuses not far from our church. Uh, that refuses to preach the gospel, hour and a half of music, 15 minute sermon that he sits and drinks coffee in a chair, and then he talks real soft voice and says homosexuality is okay, and Christians sh should be ashamed. He has the second or third largest church in the United States, and I went there when there was 100 members. So I'm not going to use his name today, but you guys can probably figure out who I'm talking about. And a lot of people like to follow him, and he's got this huge conference every year, and he's made a lot of money, and he's let a lot of people probably go to hell. I'm not going to do that. So, All right, so now we're here. Let's go through this. Seven, casting all your care upon him, for he cares for you. Okay, so we have tickled ears, and then we have sold out. All right, so sold out to Jesus. Okay, when you're sold out, you take the good and the bad. You take the, the anger, and you take the sweetness. You take the correction and you take the love. See, over here, all you're going to get is love and what you want to hear and everything's okay and every day should be a Friday and there aren't any bad days and there's really no Satan and we just need to love each other because everything will just work out. And if God wants me to have it, it'll come. 
Not one bit of that's true. You can have bad days, yeah. But you don't have to have a string of them. Are there going to be tough days? Yeah. I was dying, I should know. When you're throwing up on yourself and your wife and pooping in your pants and on your wife, that's a bad day. But you know it's not going to last because that's from Satan and I serve a God that can heal me. So now we cast all of our cares. So here's the thing. Can I cast all my cares to Jesus over here? No, because what am I? I'm in disobedience over here. See, if I'm in sin, God can't bless me. So I can't cast my, my cares because on this side, I don't really have any, do I? If every day is a Friday, which I think every day should be a Monday, because that's the first day of battle. Well, actually, the first day is Sunday, because we go on a Hebrew calendar. But what can I do over here? I can cast all my cares on Jesus, because he is my Lord and my Savior. See, over here, he's my Savior, but is he my Lord? Because I don't want to hear correction. I don't want to hear sound doctrine. I'm not reading my Bible. I'm listening to some clown in a, in a, in, in a chair. I'm not taught to read the scripture. we got a lot of pastors who never read one scripture. My record is 75. Right now in seminary, they're teaching pastors not to use more than three scriptures. All right, I taught special ed for years. My special needs kids could have handled more than three scriptures. I gave them more than one life skill a day. If, they can, if you've got a 55 IQ and I can teach you more than one life skill a day, i got a feeling that people sitting in my church could probably handle more than three scripture. All right, so let's go to the next one. Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary the devil as a roaring lion walketh about seeking whom he may devour. Okay. Who's he looking for? See, over here, here's who he's looking for. If you're an ear tickler, you're weak in the word. And you quote a pastor, not a word. My wife shouts out stuff to me. Um, you're weak in the word. Okay? Remember, Satan, the devil, is a full-time employment for him. Full-time devil. Now, over here, we have an hour and a half of Christianity. Okay, th these pastors right now are teaching that Kamala Harris is a viable option for President of the United States. The lady who believes in tearing babies into pieces, they always say that babies aren't, babies in the womb are not human. Then why do they sell their body parts? If they're not a human being, why would we sell their body parts? Just got a question there, because if you can answer that for me, I, I would gladly like to know, but uh, if they're not human, why would you gladly sell their body parts? See, and before communism, they'll tell you whatever you need to hear. They'll tell you they're all going to fix the problems. Kamala Harris has been saying that she's going to fix all the problems. She caused them all. That's right up there. This is a high school boy defense, right? Girlfriend comes around the corner. He's smooching on another girl in between class up against the locker. I used to have to deal with this. I was a high school coach, so I had to handle these, these disputes. Guy comes to my office. I said, well, did you do it? Then she deserved to hit you. So you come around the corner. And then she runs off because, and then he goes, classic line, you didn't see what you thought you saw. And if you ever saw the movie Something to Talk About with uh, Dennis Quaid and, uh, nope, uh, Dennis Quaid and Joey Roberts. Um, he tried to use that defense too. Your friend didn't, you didn't see what you thought you saw. Well, she was standing in front of the restaurant window. I think she saw what she thought she saw. See, that's what they try to tell you. You didn't, no, that didn't happen. You, you didn't hear it right. You didn't see it right. They want to tickle ears. Well, he's a liar. When I went to work for him, you should hear the lies that I got told. It's all going to be beautiful. Just let me handle it. Everything's going to be fine. You're going to enjoy working for us. He's a liar. Now, Jesus can tell me that because if Jesus is with me, I can be sold out to someone who loves me. He, even though I worked for him, he hated me. That's why when you're an hour and a half Christian, which means you sat through a service for an hour and a half, that means you invested in the Bible. This full-time devil is going to beat you because the only thing that can beat him is the Word. You have to have the Word. The Word is called a sword. Okay, The sword of righteousness. 
Lucifer has zero, 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 zero power against the Word. Zero. One, the blood. The blood cleansed us and set us free. So the blood set me free. He has no answer for this. See, this one. And then when the resurrection hit, this covers me now so God can't see my sin, so I'm completely drenched in the blood of Christ. And the only thing that God can see when he sees me is Jesus. Pretty good. So if I'm over here getting my ears tickled and I'm listening to the music and going for the cool programs and not really going out and telling people about Jesus and instead of a Bible study, I'm doing a book club because I'm ashamed of the word and I'm so ignorant of the word I can't teach it anyway. That would be my neighborhood. Uh, they don't like for me to come to Bible study anymore. I made too much of a ruckus and corrected them. I made a mistake of correcting somebody in the middle of their lesson because I couldn't take it anymore. So if you know anything about me, you, that would fit. So if it's a time for warriors, are these warriors, are these who you want to go to battle with? You go through basic training, eight weeks, used to be 12, and they noticed when they shortened basic training, more people got killed. Well, of course they did. They're not ready yet. Disciples went through how many weeks? 52 times 3, or it's 365 times 3. It's actually more than that. So if they weren't ready for battle, being with Jesus, pre-Holy Spirit, now you have to be post-Holy Spirit to be ready for battle, he didn't tickle their ears. If anything, it was Nick Saban with no profanity. I, I see Bobby Knight with no profanity, but he didn't throw chairs at him. I don't know. Peter may have got a couple chairs thrown at him. Maybe a loaf of bread, something. But if our job is always to beat back the devil, can I get my ears tickled to beat the devil? See, a lot of people don't believe that there's good and evil. Well, all you got to do is read the paper, watch the news. They don't really believe there's a devil. See, over here, they never talk about the blood. They never talk about sin. They never talk about repentance. They never talk about all the things it takes to beat him. Well, if I've neutralized you so much because you don't want the tithe to go down, you don't want the giving to go down, you like playing golf three times a week, you like all the book sales, you like the, I looked up one, now I'm all about making money, I'm a capitalist, uh, but am I making money because I'm not preaching the word? See, I was one of these coaches, and I almost got my whole coaching staff killed one night. I like it when you yell at me. The louder you yell the profanity, the more fuel it gives me. The more you yell you hate me, the more encouraged I am. A lot of people don't like that. I just do this. It's, I did this to a crowd one night. All right, the problem was I was the only white guy counting my other players in an all-black arena, and they did not like the whitey. And why did I know that? They were yelling, kill whitey. It was so bad, my assistant principal, who was black, <laughs> and my assistant coach, my assistant principal tried to sit on the bench. I was like, what are you doing? He goes, Scott, you're going to get me killed. I'm black, and these people have associated with you. I live in this neighborhood. Are you insane? And then my boy, Dwayne, who I always, I love Dwayne, and his mom was so sweet. Dwayne goes, I can't say what Dwayne said, but he insinuated that I was going to get a body part of his killed. And um, so... We're getting blown out. I'm encouraging the crowd to scream. They're throwing stuff at me. It's beautiful. All of a sudden, three state patrolmen come. I don't know who called the police. A state patrolman calls me and goes, just be cool, man. <laughs> he, he steps in front of me. Another state patrolman gets behind me. Poor Dwayne. I was like, are y'all going to get Dwayne? No, we're just worried about you right now. <laughs> No, but y'all got to get Bernard and Dwayne. No, they're good. <laughs> so we get out, and I told the coach, I grabbed his arm, and I said, you get, still got to play at our place. They beat us in double overtime at our place. And I think they sent two of their kids to the hospital because I told our kids we had 75 fouls. Let's make the most. I was Ill illegally put two managers on the team just so they could foul people. I actually had to make two jerseys. That didn't exist. But they'd beaten us so bad the previous time, they didn't object to it. They're like, let him put in the janitor. I don't care. We're still going to beat him. They had two guys go to the NBA from that team. The next day I come in, my assistant principal comes down to my room. He goes, you're the craziest white guy I think I've ever met. You're completely insane. 
what is wrong with you? I said, I don't like losing, man. And I said, that's fuel to me. I said, doesn't it get you going to have people hate you and scream at you and throw stuff at you? I'm that guy. It's a motivator. It motivated me. To, I said, you wait till they come to our arena. And at the end of our game, he goes, you got a point, man. You guys almost beat them. He goes, I won't say another word. He goes, I'm just never going back over there with you again. <laughs> he did say, though, he, he, he had to be kind of cautious where he went for a couple of weeks because everybody was still mad at me and they were going to take it out on him. So look at it this way. All right, if they're that mad at me and they're going to kill Dwayne and Bernard, isn't it funny? I still remember their names because the event was so traumatic for them. I'll never forget it. My principal called me in the office the next day. She goes, good job. <laughs> she was an athlete and she was fabulous. I'll never forget it. Dr. Ray, if you're still probably not still around, I love you. Dr. Ray was a fighter, and she's like, stick it to him. She liked, she, see, she liked the noise, too. She was a college athlete. So who else got some static? Who got yelled at? Who got stuff thrown at him? Who got threatened? Who got profanity levered at him? See, if, if he got it, I'm going to get it. That's why every day can't be a Friday. If they hate him, who else do they hate? I get a lot of hate on social media. I got hate from a buddy of mine that I loved deeply last night. I love this guy and his wife. And he's telling me I'm irresponsible. And let me help you out here, bro. I taught physics for over 20 years. I was going to be a nuclear physicist. My hobby is astrophysics and quantum physics. I taught weather for years. And this guy's trying to tell me I don't know anything about physics and weather. I pointed out to him that his specialty was 3D printing and internet marketing. He needs to leave the physics to the guys who actually know what they're talking about. See, but that's the devil. He wants to say you don't know what you're talking about, give information. You heard that before. But what they do about Jesus? He doesn't know what he's talking about. He, he, he's overstepping his bounds. He's not supposed to do this. They always try to set traps for him. So why do you think you should be any different? All right, let me read you something. I want to, I've got a book I want you guys to buy. I've had it for a while, but it's called Spiritual Weapons to Defeat the Enemy by Rick Renner. You can go on Rick's website, and uh, you can purchase it. Now, don't buy it from Amazon. Go to Rick's site because Rick Renner's one of the best. He's the top Greek scholar, I think one of the top in the world, and uh, I love Rick. Now, it's, it's funny because he talks about why we're not winning. Now, God will win. He's talking about us, and this is why. See, what I knew about my time in the, in the Church of Satan or working for Satan is they were organized and they were dedicated. So Satan demands discipline, demands it. Will not tolerate a lack of discipline. He demands a tithe. If you don't tithe in the Church of Satan, it's kind of like dealing with the mob and not paying your debts. You're going to get one warning. They're going to give you a little inspiration to pay them back. And then one day you're no longer there. Same thing with the devil. So discipline, tithe, commitment. See, Satan's, Satan's army is committed. Look at P. Diddy. Look at all these people in Hollywood now. You're seeing the whole house of cars collapse. Hillary Clinton, the Bushes. They're all in the same cahoots. The Obamas, Kamala Harris, Waltz. They're all on the same team. Half the pastors in the United States. Because they all took, they either took the Satan's code or they took the money. So they have discipline, the tithe, commitment, and they have a strategy. They have strategy meetings. Okay, right now they're ahead of us, right? They run plays. Now, here's the great thing about the devil. The devil does not have new strategies. Does he need them? Does he really need a, a like, I looked at John Gruden's playbook the other night for the Packers. It was this thick. All right. And John Gruden's kept every playbook that he's ever written throughout his whole NFL coaching career. I, I don't have every play I've ever run. I, my wife helped me clear out everything. I think I have two clipboards that I got from Coach K. That's it, isn't it? We have two clipboards from Coach K, right? Huh? And I have a couple of notebooks that I got from Duke, actually. I used to spend a lot of time on Duke campus. I lived in Raleigh. So I got two clipboards from Coach K. That's it. That's all I still have from my, my coaching career. John Gruden has everything. He has a play. All of his playbooks are this thick. I got a, I got a string coming out of my jacket. Imagine that. Um, so that means 
He's ready for any single offense or defense that he's going to encounter. All right, so now let's look at what Christians have. And this is the modern-day church. I ain't talking about you. Maybe you're ready to go. But I am talking about the modern-day church. All right. As Christians, we have no power shortage, nor are we short of God's given authority. We simply have great lack of discipline, organization, and commitment. Is that a true statement? Absolutely. Can you be a warrior if you lack discipline, organization, and commitment? When the church of Satan has them all. Because they demand it. And they demand that you fall in line. Look at Diddy. I don't know what Diddy did to be the sacrificial lamb. Help you out here. They've known he's been doing this from the start. This, this is not a new revelation. Like Joe Biden, it's not a new revelation he has to mention. Why is he being sacrificed? They always pick one. Like Harvey Weinstein. Why was he all of a sudden sacrificed when everybody knew it? So you might want to look at Oprah. You might want to look at the Obamas. You might want to look at the Clintons. You might want to look at the Bushes. There's a lot of people, and this is on the internet. It's not. I posted some of this on Facebook. You might want to look at BlackRock. You might want to look at uh, Vanguard. All these companies are cahoots to destroy this because they want to install their God, which is government or themselves. Bill Gates thinks he is God. Why are we taking advice from a guy who left Harvard, talked a whole bunch of engineers into doing his work, same thing with Steve Jobs, and he's probably one of the most evil people in the entire world. Why do we do this? Why do we, why do we do this? Okay, so if all that's true, and you can look it up all on the internet, this is, I can't tell you how many videos are saying what I'm saying, but without the Christian part. So if that's true, if it's true that we lack commitment, discipline, and organization, whose fault's that? Well, as a pastor, I kind of have to go look in the mirror, don't I? Because if my church is not equipped, whose fault is it? Well, it's mine. Because here's what, here's what Satan's looking for. If we want to be warriors and we want to save our country and we want to install a, 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 a for the people, by the people, listen to this. The enemy is looking for those who are weak in faith, ignorant of the word of God, isolated unto themselves, and not mature enough to stand in the face of his constant ha hassling allegations. Now, if you want to think about this, the word devil, diabolos, uh, in the Greek, if you want to see what the meaning is, here's what it is. The act of repeatedly throwing a ball or a rock against something until it penetrates that barrier and breaks through to the other side. All right, so let's, let's put this in modern day vernacular or an example. May I? Can I? Can I race? Okay. Can I race? Well, you should have wrote faster. Well, you used to tell my students, well, you need to learn how to write faster. All right, so let's look at the ball bouncing against the wall. If we're going to be warriors, what's been going on? Let's say, let's, let's attribute to Satan. Wyoming. Fires everywhere, right? They're trying to say it's global warming. No, it's called you started the fire on purpose. Hurricanes, driven by weather manipulation. Uh, illegal coming over. Okay, they're inundating us with 20, 30 million illegals because one more cycle. See, this will be the last election we ever have in the United States if Donald Trump doesn't win. I hate to break it to you, but if Donald Trump does not win, this is the last election we ever have because now they will have imported with an open border, they would have imported enough people to replace every single voting block in the United States. And we have probably eight, nine, ten families that are trying to do this. George Soros is leading the charge. Or right, if you've not educated yourself on this, then you're just being stupid. Now, so we have Wyoming on one side. We have the hurricanes on another side. We have illegal immigration everywhere. They've let across at least 13,000 murderers on purpose, and they're intentionally letting terrorists come over. And if you don't think there's going to be another terrorist attack, you got another thing coming. So another video the other night where Delta, United, they're all guilty, are checking... Everybody but illegals, they have a line for illegals where they don't even get their bags checked. Nothing's checked. No ID, no bag, nothing. Nothing's scrutinized, and they're able to get on that plane with you with no discrimination. Nothing's looked at. How long before a plane blows up or multiple blow up? 
How long? That's why I won't fly right now. I refuse to get on an airplane right now in the United States. I ain't stupid. I know it's inevitable. I, I can do statistics. Who, who took statistics in college? Come on. Um, if took a calc class, you can do this. So if that's true, so what's all this look like? A distraction. Now, I always said this. So distract, distract, distract. Throw the ball, 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 throw the ball. Don't look behind the curtain because Oz is not who you think he is. See, if I can keep you from looking behind the curtain with enough distractions, all right? Inflation. All right, now your, your dollar doesn't go as far. Now you're having to work twice as hard for less money. It's like somebody said, I never realized I was getting stronger. The other day I was able to carry $100, $100 worth of groceries out of, the, out of the store with no problem. <laughs> we used to be able to feed myself, my wife, and our two kids for $100 a week 18 years ago. Now my wife and I cannot survive on $100 a week. That gets us through four days because we eat everything that's natural. So we have to go to the grocery store two or three times a week. We don't buy a lot every time, but <clears throat> it's well over $100. <clears throat> so did I get stronger or did inflation evaporate? Now what happens when inflation? If you're a billionaire during inflation, your money increases because what they'll do is overtax and overinflate and it siphons up to whoever's at the top of the food chain. And it's the top of the food chain trying to destroy everybody else through communism because once communism goes in effect, there is no upward or downward mobility. It just is. So if you're at the top of the food chain and a politician, you get to stay. In what universe could AOC, Congress, Congresswoman from New York, ever, ever, ever even hold down a job, much less in Congress? She probably has an IQ of 70. So distract. Now, we're in the good old South, baby. What also hits during election time? I'm in the South. What's the religion in the South? Foosball, right? Bobby Boucher's mom said it best. Foosball's the devil. I'm telling you right now, if Herschel Walker was here and Jesus was here, everybody would line up for Herschel Walker and not Jesus. If it's Tennessee, it's Peyton Manning and not Jesus. I keep going through every single school. If it's Auburn, it's, it's uh, Bo Jackson. South Carolina, George Rogers. I, I keep going through every single school. Why do we worship football and not Jesus? How do I know Georgia had a game last night? Go ahead, ask me. Go ahead. Yell it through the TV. Because there was no traffic coming to church today. That's how I know that Georgia. And then when I got the Dunkin' Donuts, it was packed. It's never packed. Because I'm normally the only guy in there, and I get to talk to my girl Gabby and see how she's doing. I could tell that Georgia had a game last night because nobody went to church. They all came to Dunkin' Donuts to get donuts and go home. Nobody was going to church today. Why? Well, Georgia had a game. All right, let me get this straight. I'm going to fight a full-time devil with Kirby Smart. The UGA football team is not going to help me when I'm faced with what I'm faced with currently in my life, right? So I'm fighting a full-time devil that operates in nine dimensions of time. I personally and my physical body can operate in one. My spirit can operate in all nine. But who do I have to call on for that to happen? Holy Spirit. See, without a Holy Spirit, I can't operate, right? Now, the Holy Spirit beat him. The Holy Spirit's still his daddy. All right, so what, if you'll notice, I use the Michael Jordan days till basketball season. My home state is North Carolina. What's our favorite sport? Basketball. You realize that more people are more worried about the North Carolina home game on the 4th, Monday, instead of voting on Tuesday. And RTP's been able to bring in enough liberals, because RTP's uber liberal, um, to help saturate the state of North Carolina. So now we have football and basketball, not much of a baseball guy, so I could care less. And a hockey, we watch hockey. So I'm a Hurricanes fan. So I've got two sports that still outdo Jesus. Because if there's a Carolina home game on, on Saturday night, nobody's going to be at church on Sunday. Or Duke, or, or I used to go to all these teams' games. 
North Carolina State, they still get up because they just expect State to lose. Um, so they need some love. They need love when they get there. Just kidding. That was a shout out to my boy Jim. He went to, he went, uh, actually, my godson graduated from State. So distract, 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 distract. Didn't we just read that? Did we not read what he does? All right, go over to Matthew 24. Because I feel like people still aren't grasping this concept. Straight out of Jesus' mouth. Matthew 24, 4. I've read over this and read over this and read over this and read over this. Everybody ready? Everybody ready? All right. Take heed that no man deceive you. All right? Don't get your ears tickled. You didn't see what you thought you saw. You didn't really hear it the way I said it. That was, that was misstated. I watched Tim Walls try to load a gun yesterday. He says he's an avid hunter. Did not know how to load a shotgun. Went for a photo op for bird shooting and could not get the shell in the shotgun. I used to be able to do that one hand. Can't now. I need help with my hands. But don't let them deceive you. For many shall come in my name, saying I'm Christ, and shall deceive many. How many pastors have we had fall this year? There'll be more next year. Uh, we've got a famous pastor in Houston right now that's tied in with P. Diddy. That'll, that'll get discovered. Ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that you be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. Now, remember, we've been in the end times since Jesus got off the cross. But every day we get closer. And we're really seeing this play out now in real time to us. For the nation shall rise against nation, kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines, pestilence, earthquakes, and diverse places. Is that taking place right now on a global scale? Absolutely. And now we're seeing it here in the United States. Now, that was purposely set, and that was manipulated weather. If you don't know it, it's all on the Internet. All the patents are listed on the Internet. Uh, thank LBJ again. Now, this technology has been available for almost 80 years, probably earlier. Uh, they always bastardize what Tesla did. So they always take Tesla's stuff and kind of manipulate it. Nikolai Tesla is one of my heroes. So you combine illegal immigration, destruction of law enforcement, because liberal cities will not put these guys in jail. You can kill, you can rape, and you can murder, and they'll let you out of jail the next day if you're illegal. On top of giving you $4,000 a month and a free place to live. Then they're going to send hurricanes. Where did they send the hurricanes? I'm from the area of North Carolina that BlackRock just invested in those mines. Several of us are that are listening. My niece is still stuck on the mountain in Boone, North Carolina. There's a reason why they wanted all this to happen. Now they did it in Maui. Now they're doing it in my state, Tennessee, Virginia, and parts of South Carolina. And then they set the fires. I posted yesterday why they want this to go down. Look it up. Do your own research. And then inflation can make all this possible because now if you make the people miserable enough and you can make the trains run on time, they'll do what they want you that they'll do what you want them to do. Now they're trying to have enough school shootings to take guns away. She's already said, I'm going to go for the guns. Well, we have something called a constitution. The other day, Hillary Clinton and John Kerry both said, that pesky First Amendment, and we could just get rid of it. We could tell people what's really true. Guys, it's never the bad guy, the good guys that are trying to shut you up. All right, so let's keep going. For nation, soul rise against nation. All these are beginning of sorrows. Then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted, shall kill you, and you shall be hated uh, for all the nations for my sake. Praise God. And then shall many be offended and shall betray one another and shall hate one another. Did we see that over COVID? People calling the police on people that weren't wearing a mask. Now, not in our state because we're, we're in a free state. It's like Red Dawn. I'm in a free state. I'm in the free south. But Minnesota, Tim Watts allowed people to get shot at with paint guns who were outside. That's illegal for a police officer to shoot a citizen with a paint gun. Illegal. And they were going around shooting people with paint guns who weren't inside like they were told to be. You know why they don't do that in Georgia? We shoot back. You know why they don't do that in North Carolina, Florida, Texas? Because people shoot back. Because what they did was illegal. 
You cannot take a firearm, and that's considered a firearm, and shoot someone without cause. See, they just want to be able to select who they assassinate and shoot. Oh, that's Tim Waltz's hero is Mao. What they do? Kill anybody they didn't like. All right, keep going. Many false prophets shall rise and shall deceive many and become uh, iniquity shall abound. The love of many shall wax cold, but he shall endure unto the end. The name shall be saved. The same will be saved. This gospel of the kingdom shall be preached all over the world for witness upon all nations, and the end shall come. I always tell people, if you want the rapture to come, tell people about Jesus. If you're really ready for Jesus to come back, start telling every single person you've ever seen about Jesus because he ain't coming back till it happens. Very simple plan. Tell people about Jesus. Now, their whole goal, their whole goal is to destroy the truth. So they want, this is all for the destruction of truth. What is the truth? Jesus. Gospel. They do not want people to hear the gospel because the gospel sets you free. The truth shall set you free. So are they accomplishing that goal? Sort of. Well, the thing is, we're the last passion. If, if the United States goes, there's nowhere to, to, to run. So people from all over the world are pulling for us. UK. People all over the world are making videos right now telling us to keep fighting. Because they've... they've Kamala Harris is so stupid, and so is Waltz. they got the two dumbest people on the face of the planet. All she can do is cackle and giggle. She slept her way to the top. He basically did, too, apparently. There's a lot more coming out about him. And I'm ashamed to say he was a teacher. I don't like the fact that, that my former profession so looked down on because my teachers in my high school were fabulous. I, I have nothing good to say, bad to say about my teachers. My, my teachers in high school, I had some fabulous people. I got to college. Um, I had some fabulous professors. Now, there's always a bad one or two, but I only said one or two bad. I had some phenomenal professors in college, and I went to High Point University, I went to UNCG, and went to Greensboro College. So I went to three schools. So I got a smattering of professors. I might have had one or two bad, and the rest were pretty good, man. And, and my advisors were great. And my mentor was one of my professors. So I, I, I know what it's like to have a great education. But the education I want to give your kids now is, all right, take the test till you pass it. See, if I can take discipline away, if I can take uh, self-identity away, if I can make the collective, you hear those words, it's, it's, it's the, the Vulcan, you know, the ways, the, the needs of the many outweigh the needs of the few. Well, see, that was just a throwaway line we thought in the 60s. It wasn't. That's actually a Communist Manifesto. Karl Marx, the guy who never had a job and let his own wife starve to death. Why we still follow this guy, I have no idea. So now let's look at this. Can I go? Can I keep going? I know I'm, I'm getting long on a tooth in time. Is, is that okay? All right. It got approved here, so you guys got to live with me. All right. So the goal is to destroy the truth, destroy the gospel, and enhance to destroy you. Now, what do they want to do? They want to take away all opportunity. If you're not part of our club, like George Carlin said, if you're looking around so who's part of the club, you're not in it. He was right. We didn't realize that George Carlin was a prophet. A profane prophet, but he was right. He was a, a, a child of, of, of anti-war movement, which we should have been anti-war. I know because my cousin never came home. Mentally, never came back. Now talking about Nam, Walter. All right, so... If I can take away the truth, and if I can take away the truth, so, so with the Holy Spirit, He's the Spirit of truth. All right, so now, if I can take away the Spirit of truth, I can take away all hope. It's kind of like an Auburn fan. Even though they're up, and it's the fourth quarter, you know, you can tell I'm in SEC country, you know they're going to lose. You know it's inevitable. It's funny, I, I still can't forget that girl with her arms crossed in the Auburn Stadium. She knew the end was near. And they didn't lose yesterday because they didn't play, right? Yeah, so I think they had a bye yesterday. But you know if it's four quarter, teams marching, Auburn's going to lose. Why do I, I joke about this because every Auburn fan I know has this angst every time they play because they know they'll snatch Defeat from victory. It's like in Ted Lasso, May's talking to Ted, and she goes, it's the hope that kills you. If he can take away hope, Jerry Savelle said it best, if Satan can 
steal your joy, he can, he can keep your goods. He wasn't talking necessarily about material stuff. Love, hope, joy, relationships, great, great things happen to you, favor. See, if we don't believe the truth and we don't have hope, then we don't have favor, even though you really have favor, but you have to speak it, you have to exercise it, you have to know it. See, if I don't know the word, this is all I've got. Remember, there's a reason why the Romans kept the games going. And if you saw the movie Gladiator, you'll see this. The mob is Rome. Entertainment, 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 entertainment. Then I can destroy them over here. I can control them if I let them play. Well, sports podcaster, Adama does it now. And every, every athlete's got his platform. Not like they should because most of them, their stuff's terrible. But... We sure, I'll, I'll look up a preacher because I've got my favorite preachers. And I'll look up a sports guy. All right, so I watch a guy named Josh Pate, which I think he's the best sports guy out there for football, for college. Pate will have got millions of people watch his videos because he works with CBS and stuff. But I'll go over and look up Keith Moore, or I'll go over and look up Rick Renner, or Jerry Savelle, or Jesse Duplantis, or Kenneth Copeland, or Richard Roberts, or Billy Burke, Kevin Zadai. 4,000 people. All right, so let me get it straight. The guy who talks about SEC football, I mean, it's a religion, remember, has 1.3 million. I go over and look up Rick Renner, and he has 4,000 views. You see why we're losing? See, Rick Renner, and through his Greek interpretation of the Bible, can help change my life instantaneously through the Spirit and through hope because I'm there to learn everything about the Bible. Can Josh Pate put $1 in my pocket? Well, he can because he's got a sponsorship with QT. And if I email him, he'll send me a, a gas card. That's true. But outside of that, can he save my soul, enhance my spirit, or save my spirit, enhance my soul? Can he save me from everything that the, 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 the enemy lines up against me? Can he save me from a tornado or a hurricane? No. So why is he more valuable than, than the pastor I need to watch? Well, because... We've never taught people how to value this. See, this, what I want to talk about today is, you can't be a warrior if you're religious. See, religion is the opposite of what the Holy Spirit has to offer. I know it's spelled wrong. Religious spirit. See, a relationship is what we have with Christ, the Holy Spirit, and the Father. I don't have a religion. See, religion allows people to turn on each other. Religion is a made-up set of doctrines that we do. Remember, there were 10, 10 commandments. They turned it into 613. 10, 613. God wrote 10, man wrote the rest. I think Forrest Gump said it the best, stupid is, the stupid does. Remember when Jesus got taken out to the wilderness? Satan had eons to repair, prepare for one event. One event he had forever to prepare for. So he goes after the senses and he went after what? Jesus' mind. Everything he did appealed to, to doubting the word or a physical sense. The five senses. So he can only tempt through the senses. He can only tempt through what's known to man. And he never changes the playbook because there's one thing he wants. See, religion wants mind control. Okay. Is government a religion? Yes. Is global government a religion? Yes. Is liberalism a religion? Yes. Because there's no logic behind it. Because if you ask people, why are you voting for Kamala? Give me one accomplishment she had they can't. They self-destruct and start screaming profanity. How did I know I won an argument with my brother? He would start a word with an A and end it with an E. And I knew as soon as that came out of his mouth, I had won. Right? Because as soon as the profanity starts, you won. Because now they've run out of, of arguments, so now they've just got to scream and names at you. I get called stuff like that all the time. Now it's really starting, and it's funny because it's coming from people I thought were my friends. Although I got screamed at by our fans more as a high school coach than I did from the opposing fans. I never knew what I was doing. I was the worst coach they had ever seen. I didn't know how to, I, I didn't know anything about basketball. I didn't understand the rules. Why did they hire me? When they said that, we were 10 and 0. 
I told my wife coming over, I remember the good old days when the Charlotte Observer, the Raleigh, I uh, can't remember what Raleigh's newspaper, Greensboro News and Record, all said that Mike Krzyzewski was the worst coach ever made and why would Duke have ever hired him? I saw that in 80, 81, 82. That big class comes in in 82. By 86, he's in the national championship. They lose. They were the best team in basketball. They just blew the game. Louisville beat them. Billis was telling this story. And then he never looked back. It was Final Four, Final Four, Final Four, Final Four national championship. Same guy. I mean, every, every week, this guy's terrible. They should fire him. Why do they ever hire him? He's, he's, he's stupid. He doesn't understand basketball. And then Dean Smith won 19 games one year instead of 23. Can't coach anymore, doesn't know anything about basketball. People are stupid. It's a religion. Religion's full of hate, angst, animosity. Because religion unto itself will collapse. Because what's back in religion? A man-made set of rules. What's backing faith in Christ? God and the Word. Well, I'd rather have God and the Word backing what I'm doing than some med-made set of criteria that's subject to change at any time because now they're trying to say the Constitution of the United States is fluid. No, it's not. It's set in stone. Just like another set of stone, Ten Commandments, that are fluid. No, and he didn't change it. We wanted to change it because we wanted to be for, more sinful. We wanted to go after our desires. I can tell you, going after human desires can be fun. And then you wake up one day in a pool of vomit, and you wonder why you did it all. Or you wake up in somebody's yard you don't know. Or you wet, I can keep going of all the bad things I've done. Or you're covered in blood. Or you're drinking blood. Boy, I was having a great time, wasn't I? Working for Satan. But then when I got the truth... I don't want to let that go because that was better than any drugs, alcohol, or sex I ever had. Why? Because it was founded on somebody that loved me and for the first time in my life I had hope. See, religion and government want to strip hope. Ask anybody that's lived under communism. And they do it by this. Fantasy football. Betting. Now we have betting in every arena in sports there is, including college sports. Gee, that's never going to have any consequences to it. See, we keep enough activity going, like, like, like with the church, right? The church has now tried to offer every single activity under the sun, other than Bible study. Man, you'll do a kid's activity upward. If you don't keep score, it ain't a sport. Keep score. Let, we got winners and losers in life. They need to learn that now. Upward basketball is the bane of my existence. I can't stand it. Somebody asked me to coach it, and then my wife goes, I think you probably should rethink before you talk to him ever again because you don't ever want to say something like that to my husband ever again. It's going to end badly for you. See, if we can keep them active, if we can have enough smoke machines, tambourines, skinny jeans, we don't have to preach the word because we don't have to have the word if we entertain them. But if we don't entertain them, we better have something they are here to see. We, we, we spend church money on our home. Here's what I'm going to tell you what we spend it on. We have teas for people. Because what we found is if people come over and they'll talk, they'll tell you everything that's wrong. They'll tell you why they want Jesus. And then at the end of the tea, we lead them to Christ. It's almost unfair. I mean, I feel like I'm cheating. Tell me about you. We'll love on you. We're, we, it, it takes anywhere from two to three hours. I had two ladies come over one night. My wife was there. So she let me talk to them. They found Christ and got baptized in the Holy Spirit. How many people have we been able to do that with? Around the table, I have a board at home. So we'll start with tea. The board always comes out. It feels like an Amway presentation. You look like a sharp individual. You want a second source of income? And I go over. Here's Jesus. Here's what he offers. Here's why you want to be on this team and not this team. What do you think? Well, they always pick Jesus. All right, if we can do that at a, at a dining room table in our home, and right now our home is completely stripped, we're remodeling the whole house. It looks like construction zone. What can you do at work? What can you do with that ball team? What can you do at your church? What can you do in a convenience store? What can you do with some of your buddies? See, we, we, we don't feel like we have to go do that because we got comfortable 
with the activity. You know how I many people I tell about Jesus when I go to a ball game? Ticket taker, guy at the concession stand, cheerleaders, police officer. They always ask, what's different about you, man? Because they can feel the Holy Spirit off me. So if I want to be a warrior, I have to have a warrior mindset because I understand that I'm in a battle. Look at all the hatred towards Donald Trump. Why do they hate him so much? Picked by God. Now, I'm not saying he, I ain't calling him to be my pastor, but he's a leader, and he hates the cabal. He and RFK Jr. They hate the cabal, and now guess who signed up with him? A guy named Musk, I think. All right, you got the richest man in the world, one of the smartest guys in the world. He really is an engineer, and he's brilliant. Um, Donald Trump, phenom phenomenal businessman, and RFK understands health as great as anybody. And if you see the guy without a shirt on, I take him in a fist fight. He's a stud. And I was an admirer of his father. Uh, so one Kennedy I really did like, and uh, RFK is a great guy, wonderful guy. And they decided to take down the cabal together. Now, they can't do it without the power of Jesus, and they can't do it without the church. Well, you have Michael Jordan plus one days to make that decision. Now, before we go, I want to make sure we go over how to win. All right, so everybody ready for the winning? Or as I'm not sure Libra would say, I want to wean. Yes, we had kids, and that's our kids, one of their favorite movies. All right, pray. Pray. Don't pray, oh, Lord, if it's your will, shut up. Pray with boldness. He said, come to me bold and you tell me what you want because there's a word and there's a Bible verse to back it up. So if you're going to come and, oh, Lord, just shut up. You don't want to hear it. But if you come bold, read the scripture to him, what your legal rights are, he's ready to do it. Whatever you ask and believe, I'll do. I didn't even get to my, I didn't get to my sermon again. Um, John 14 is what we were using today. Every Sunday, I'll come. And I'll lay out the notes because I have like five sermons. And I'll go, today I'm preaching a sermon. I ain't done that in six weeks. Because the Holy Spirit gets me on another side. All right, now, prayer. Let's look at the hurricane. My wife whispers to me while I'm talking. We prayed that if the hurricane could not be destroyed, that it would dissipate. Before the wall I got to the land, it dissipated and collapsed. I've got a lot of friends in Tampa area. I've got a, one who's got a beautiful farm about 40 miles north of Tampa. He lost trees. That's it. Then I got, I got clients spread all the way across the state of Florida. Orlando, you know, all the way over to the East Coast. Straight across, and um, it dissipated. Was Satan intended for good, God was able to use to actually bring communities together. Now also remember... With this prayer, you got to vote early. Don't give it to election day. That's when they cheat. Vote early. Now remember, they're letting illegals vote. They're registering illegals to vote as soon as they come across the border, north and south, or on a boat. And you got to remember, too, they're breaking the law. They're sending planes to terrorist countries and flying those people over here to the tune of about a million people. I think they've been able to document for sure 500,000 people they've flown over, which is illegal. That is treason, and they should all be in jail. But you can't go to jail if uh, nobody will prosecute you. It's like Google right now, antitrust case. The lawyer representing Google is married to the guy prosecuting the case. Merrick Garland officiated their wedding. No collusion there, right? Nothing to see here. Nothing to see here. Vote early. Now, pray Use the word. Don't go to God weak. Use that word, man. Read that word out to him. He likes to hear his word. Mark 11, 22 through 25. You said that if I believe I can ask, what do you want? Heck, half the church wants Kamala Harris to be the next president. I heard somebody the other day, somebody told me this. I've been trying to talk to one of my female friends. She's fucking for Kamala because she wants to be able to have an abortion. It gets better. I said, uh, is she single? No. She's got kids, right? Yeah. What? 
She didn't want any more kids, right? No. She can't have kids, huh? What? Let me get it straight now. Somebody who can't even have an abortion wants to elect someone so they can have an abortion. Let me help you guys out here. Abortion's not illegal. Donald Trump, understanding the Constitution of the United States, said it's up to the state. That's it. Abortion's not illegal. Now, I heard an ad the other day that said, Donald Trump said women who have abortions should be shot and killed. They used uh, AI to be able to change his voice and put a false commercial out that said, Donald Trump said women who have abortions should die. He never said that. He said women have to go back to their state legislation, and the state gets to decide, which is how our government, 50 states, representative, we're not a democracy, we're a republic. Please stop saying the word democracy. That means uh, majority rule. They want to do away with the electoral college. They want to stack the Supreme Court. So vote early with prayer. What the, what, God's picking Donald Trump so I can help you. Not because he's righteous. He's Cyrus. If you don't know who Cyrus is, look it up. Old Testament. You know that book that church down the street says doesn't exist anymore. I'm tired of playing footsie with pastors now. If Mario Murillo can take the gloves off, so am I. Because you don't normally speak against a, guy, a man of God, but these aren't men of God anymore. They decided to change teams. Word. You don't do anything without the word. You do nothing without the word of God. Nothing. Vote early. In our state, the 15th is early voting. We'll go the first day. We know all the polls. We, we live in a red, 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 red county because we live up in the mountains. So all our polling agencies, it's so funny because they're all Republican. <laughs> they're all sweet older people, and I've gotten to know them over the years. All right, so now, pray fast. Why don't we fast? It ain't for God. God don't need to fast, and he don't eat. We fast to focus. I'm either focused on the double cheeseburger or I'm focused on God. If I just go 24 hours fast, we'll probably fast election day and we'll be praying too. But if you're waiting to do all this on election day, you waited too late. See, we pray every day. So, who's 24? Walter Davis? We may be Walter Davis days from vote. I'm trying to remember what Walter Davis' uh, number was. All right. My wife says stop, but I'm trying to remember. So, Fast. Fast with the word. See, now you can focus on the word. You've already voted early. Donald Trump wants the red wave of blood, blood of Jesus, but he also wants Donald Trump because he's not done with his country. See, if Harris wins, again, listen to me, please. Within one year, the United States will be done. One year. Because what they'll do is fly in more illegals, more murderers. Venezuela emptied all their prisons and sent all those bad guys here. Uh, if you'll notice, people aren't getting arrested. An illegal can commit a heinous crime and nothing happens. We lost a sweet girl in Athens, Lake and Raleigh. And the White House called her Lincoln Raleigh. That's the coach of USC. Couldn't even get her name right because they just don't care. Remember, politicians don't care about you. They don't care about themselves. Talk about narcissists. We got a whole circle in D.C. If you've never been up there, you can feel the ick and the evil. We've got a whole set of people up there that only call about themselves. Now, what do you do? All right, while you're doing this, call, write, text, email Congress, local or state and federal. If you don't think they listen to that, they do. That does matter. They only want one thing, votes. If you call them, I still have senators in this state that won't speak to me. Congress listens. State, who's your state representatives? Senate and Congress. Who's your national representative, Senate and Congress? And your city council. Because your, your council for your county or, or city are going to be the ones that count the votes. Remember, Stalin was right. It's not who votes, who counsel. They can't even manipulate the polls. All polls lie. No polls are, are genuine. They can't even manipulate the polls any longer to make it look like Kamala Harris is tied. Remember, every time they say somebody's tied, it's a lie. She's probably right now has 15% of the vote, and Donald Trump probably has 60. Because now he has Latin and black. See, they knew this, so they had to bring in 30 illegals to compensate for Latin, black, and vote. Right? So do the math. And then, oh, by the way, we need you to murder and do mayhem so we can declare martial law and have the UN come in and take over our country. 
They forgot something the last time they tried that. It didn't work out too well for England. It ain't going to work out well this time because I'll fight on my feet. I won't ever serve on my knees unless I'm serving Christ. That's why I've gone full force in everything. Now, we also need people to count votes. Fulton County, Georgia has dispelled most of the Republicans so they can cheat again. We should have more Republicans down there. I do not live in that county. I live in my county, and my county is pretty secure. But if you live in a county that you know is going to break the law, you have the legal right to go down there and work for your political party and watch the vote count. Now, what they do in Fulton County is stuff ballots, and the other day they actually found somebody in the basement, not in Fulton, would be normal, that's what they did last time, stuffing envelopes, and they caught them stuffing envelopes pre postdated for the election. Kamala Harris was the only one getting votes. Amazing, isn't it? James O'Keefe has done more to destroy these people. MSNBC got caught the other night saying they do everything they can to elect Democrats and destroy Donald Trump. Well, not like I didn't know it. They only have like 100,000, 200,000, 300,000 people watching them on a night because it's terrible. So who, who's counting the votes? Remember, all these election voting machines can be tapped into. We've shown it over and over and over and over again. The federal government lies. You can tap into these voting machines. I put my money on an 18-year-old who's got a laptop could probably do it. We got a lot of whiz kids with laptops. But see, they have China. Remember, BlackRock and China want to destroy the United States. It doesn't make any sense, though, because if we make money, BlackRock makes more. I, I, I don't understand this. Vanguard makes more. Fidelity makes more if we make more. It's got to be Satan logic. I, I, because you would think that, okay, BlackRock's biggest company. They run most of Congress and everybody. And they're the head of their company's demonic. But if the countries are prosperous, my stock goes up. If the pro companies are prosperous, I buy more companies and I make more profit. I don't understand. The math doesn't work for me. It's about control. It's about evil. Satan doesn't want the math to work because when you control somebody completely, the math doesn't have to work. So now you've got a decision to make. We only have three more Sundays till Election Day, right? Pastor can count. Well, one, two, three. Yeah, three more days, three more Sundays. Here's what people tell me. I don't have time. Okay, that's cool. When you're in full communism, are you going to tell me you don't have time? Because you have plenty. Because you're going to be unemployed. You'll have lost your house and your 401k. Because let me, let me help you out here. If you have a 401k, ever listening, listening. I'll do sign language for you. They plan on taking that from you. They're going to try to in, in, uh, domain everything to public sector. They're going to try to raise the, if you could learn this on, on the show Yellowstone. They tried to get John Dutton's farm to where it was overvalued and the property taxes went up so high. I learned this off YouTube. I've never seen the show. That he couldn't afford the property taxes so the state could take it over. That's what they're going to do to us. They want to raise the property taxes so high you can't afford them and take your house. They want everybody to be a renter. And they want everybody eating synthetic food, and they want to make it mandatory that you have to take inoculations, even though those kill kill one of the time. And drive an electric car so they can turn them off. Now, again, remember, if you're in something that changes your molecular structure, electric car, you should never get in one. I love Elon Musk, but he's wrong about electric cars. Those will make you sick 100% of the time because it changes your molecular structure of your body. So. People are going to tell me they don't have time to do this. You don't have time for three-minute email? You go to the can, pull your phone out. You got time. That's when I text people on the can. I have time. It's uninterrupted. Nobody can bother me. Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> people know that anyway. I had somebody go text me back one time. Are you on the pot? <laughs> yeah, you know me too well. It's the only time I get to my, you know, nobody's bugging me. Nobody's trying to get to me. So... You have time for this. Freedom. 24 days. See, we've never not been free. Never not. Ooh, ooh, sorry. Double negative. We don't know what it's like to come from communism and socialism. I've got friends. I've gone out with girls that ran from communist countries. The stuff they told me was unbelievable. 
we have a friend that ran from a Muslim country, uh, even worse. See, they're bringing Islam here because Islam's going to be the world religion. I hate to break it to you. Gays for Islam. I saw that march. Do you realize they kill people that are gay? I'm just trying to help you here. Um, they, they, they kill gay people. So if you don't understand that, they, they like to throw gay people off buildings. Now, let me give you one more thing before we get out of here. It's something that Rick said, and it resonates with me. And I've, I've read this book more than you could possibly imagine, but I can quote most of this. But yelling, screaming... Screeching, stomping, and shouting at the devil will not accomplish one thing if we have deliberately and simply by negligence allowed the loins of our minds to go unchecked and ungirded. Our lack of commitment and the secret places of our lives that have never been fully surrendered will stop us dead in our tracks whenever we try to deal with the devil's attacks. See, if you're worried about your ears getting tickled, you have no holy power. Zero. What do you want? 24 days. You get to choose. Right now, 25% of the Christian community, 26, actually vote. I can't tell you how many stupid Christians I've talked to that go, well, Donald Trump's just not godly enough. Kamala Harris is. I mean, seriously. Some people just don't know how to win. I don't care. It's like they were talking about Mark Robinson, lieutenant governor. He sent some dirty messages. Newsflash. Your pastor... You should read some of the stuff I have sent. Do you remember who I used to work for? Do you have any idea what your pastor was capable of? Seriously. Was I always a godly man? No. I finally found the truth and I, I went to the light. He said something dirty. You're an idiot. You don't deserve to win. If you don't know how to win, go vote anyway because you don't want communism because it's the last time you get to do anything. I'm tired of people telling me he's just not godly enough. Neither are you. You're the guy going to the church where they don't preach the gospel. See, I don't hear that from Bible-believing Christians. I hear that from people at these multi-huge mega churches that are there for entertainment. What, your pastor's godly? The one that just said homosexuality is not a problem? I'm not going to use his name, but you can figure out who I'm talking about. He does a huge event every year at Gwinnett Arena where they hand out boxes of stuff that I would never give to a pastor. Somebody showed me what was in the box one time. They don't ever talk about Jesus. They talk about church growth. You want to grow a church, tell everybody about Jesus. Teach them about the Word. Teach them how to get baptized in the Holy Spirit. Teach them who Jesus is. God is and the Holy Spirit is. Go to Isaiah 61. Not part of my sermon again. You should have played for me. Problem is, I wanted it more than the kids did. Isaiah 61, 2. Everybody there? Mm -hmm. To proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord, the day of vengeance of our God, to comfort all that more. Now, Jesus read the first part, right? To proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord. Stop. That's where Jesus stopped in the synagogue. He's reading about himself. Post-cross and resurrection, the second part of that verse comes in. And the day of vengeance of our Lord to comfort all that mourn. That's the Holy Spirit. That's our job. See, he saved vengeance for the Holy Spirit. Jesus came to preach the gospel the Holy Spirit's handling vengeance. Where are we now? Oh, we're in vengeance. See, if you want to talk smack about God and not teach His Word and sort of teach His Word and be afraid of the Word, you don't get to escape that. What do you want? You want to serve Jesus or you don't? See, if you want to serve Jesus, you're going to do this. But if you want entertainment, see, this is what people don't understand. In a communist country, those sports tend to go away. See, all that stuff that we enjoy freely won't be free anymore. And then you got to worry about somebody blowing up your stadium when you go because it's coming. It's only a matter of time for one of these stadiums gets blown up. 
It's a matter of time before planes start falling out of the sky. Trains start getting blown up on tracks. They want to cripple people. I would suggest you get two-way radios right now. I would suggest you get some firearms. What did Jesus tell his disciples? Arm yourself because I ain't here no more. Arm yourself. You better be vigilant and see who's beside you and around you. See, I had the luxury of working for Satan. And the job that Satan gave me very, made me very paranoid. I'm not the guy that you wanted to make mad when I worked for Satan. And I'm not the guy that you wanted to see show up your doorstep. I'm just trying to tell you how evil this is. I don't work for that team anymore. I'm a defector. I left communism, Satan, and came to freedom, Jesus. 24 days, you get to choose. You better get your friends out to vote. It, chances are it's, the deadline ended on uh, this week for Georgia. Unless you're illegal, then you can just walk up and say, I'm voting. So you better not speak English, and you better not look like me. I'm from Ireland. Um, you got a decision to make. Do you want to keep paying taxes for illegals to live free, $4,000 a month, raising your taxes, stealing all your stuff, breaking into your cars, or do you want law and order back? I like law and order. I don't do well in confusion and chaos. That's what Satan brings. Your choice. But don't complain when that happens. Here, let me, let me help you out one more step. They're going to cheat. Let me help you. They're cheating. They're already trying to figure out ways to manipulate the votes, whether it be electronic or fill out ballots, something. Here's the thing. When they try to steal the election, what you going to do? You're going to march? You're going to go back to work and go, well, I don't guess he got enough votes. My boy, Jody Heiss, one of the best men I've ever known, ran for lieutenant governor, actually, for a secretary of state in Georgia. Miraculously, the guy he was against got a whole bunch of votes after midnight. See, it's the steel comes after midnight. They turn the water off. They set the building on fire. Whatever it is, there's a, an emergency. All votes should be tallied by 12 o'clock, period. Done. This didn't start until the Clinton showed up. Actually, this started under Obama. Do you really think Obama won every election? JFK didn't win his. JFK did not win the presidency. Let me help you out. The mob helped out with that. Now, turns out he was actually a pretty good president if they let him live. That's the problem. He was a good president. And Bobby was a good attorney general. That's why I like RFK Jr. so much. Oh, he's a super guy. Now, he doesn't always agree politically what I do, but he is a wonderful human being. And now Trump and he are on the same team. I should tell you something. We have a lot of Democrats defecting to red because now the Democrats are the party of red. Communism. So what are you going to do when they go for the cheat and the steal? What are you going to do? You're going to be so, so troubled by your fantasy football team, you can't protest, can't go down there. See, there's going to come a time where you have to pick up a weapon and stand a post. What are you going to do? You don't even know the word. You're going to a church, chances are your pastor doesn't preach the gospel. See, the closer it gets, if I don't see these guys stepping up, I'm going to name names. See, normally as a pastor, I have to go to him personally. I got a problem with you, you got a problem with me. Let's work this out. A lot of these pastors aren't taking phone calls now. I texted one the other day. Won't take my text any longer. That's a problem. I got one pastor, he needs prayer. I'm not going to use his name, but he's got cancer. He's not taking my phone calls for a whole different reason. We were supposed to have coffee. I uh, don't know if he's able to go get coffee anymore. So I'm waiting for either he or his wife to get back to me. But time for a choice. Lukewarm Christianity won't win anymore. Now, Donald Trump should win uh, 49 out of 50. Gavin Newsom in California just said, no ID necessary. But you got to have one to get on a plane. You got to have one to get a visa card. You got to have one to get your driver's license. And you got to have one to get into the DNC. Yeah, you have to have one to get into the Democratic Convention, but you don't need one to vote. You do in every other country but this one. What are they trying to do? Why is Gavin Newsom still in office? Why are any of these people still in office? Why are you putting up with it? You don't know the word, and you like the distractions. Football and basketball season are here. Oh, the World Series is on. I got something. The kids got ballet. I don't understand that because I'm a fighter, 
I grew up having to be a fighter, and I'll punch you in the face if I don't like what you've got to say. I'm going to punch Satan in the face because I know who your daddy is. I know who their daddy is. It's Satan. So the one I'm going to punch in the face is Lucifer with the word. I'm going to take Jesus, the Holy Spirit, and God with me. But I'm going to say it with the word because he's scared of it and he can't beat it. How about you? And I joke around with Duncan and everything because I want Bible study to be fun, not a drudgery. I don't want this to be illegal one day. In about six months, if we lose this election, it will be. If you think those Republicans in Congress are going to be on your side, you are incorrect. One team. Remember that. One team. But it all starts locally. So I'd start with my people locally right now, state and national. Go after people in your county first, your state, and national. Make sure they all know how you feel about everything, and don't let them weasel out. We've got two senators here who cheated. One thinks, pastor, that abortion's in the Bible. They email me two months after I send it. Why? They don't care. Why do you think Kamala Harris doesn't do interviews? She didn't have to. The fix, is, the fix is in. It's like when the mob controlled boxing. Um, when you're told to take a dive in a third round, you take a dive, right? So they don't ever get stressed out on what's going to happen in the fight. Who's going to take a dive in a third round? If you've seen the movie Snatch, you will understand that. So why should they be upset if they know the fix is in? See, the fix was in with Hillary Clinton. And there were so many votes for Donald Trump they couldn't compensate for it. The only way to win this is for you to clang the bell and that so many people vote. See, if Donald Trump gets north of $100 million, there's no way they can compensate for it. The, che the, che the cheat would not, the math can't match because Joe Biden, they said he got the most votes in history. Really? Seriously? No, Barack Obama got the most votes ever for a Democrat, and, and that'll probably always be a record. If they try to tell people Kamala Harris got 110 million votes, now remember, Harlem's on Team Trump now. Blood's in the Crips, Team, team Trump. The hood, what was it, Dave Chappelle, somebody the other day said, Donald Trump got the hood now. So what do you expect? Donald Trump's got the Indian reservations. I saw this the other day. I watched some guys from Native American reservations. I watched their podcast. And he's got the Latin vote. Oh, the only thing they have is the illegal vote. So you better be out in force, watching your polls, doing what you can do to make sure the steal is not successful. It's coming. But isn't that what, see, let me go back over. 2 Timothy 1, 7. God did not give me a spirit of fear. Satan gave me what he's going to do, steal, kill, destroy. God said that I have life and will have it more abundantly. Which one am I going to choose? As Wham would say, choose life. Big shirts in the 80s, right? So that's enough today. I don't even know what time it is because the pastor's wife uh, has not made him go get his watch fixed. Uh, I think she likes me not having a watch because I'm a compulsive watch checker. And my wife, wife uh, likes it, me without a watch. So let's go ahead and pray, and I'll let you get out of here. Lord, thank you for this time. Thank you for giving us the hope through the Word, through the power of the Holy Spirit, that they cannot cheat unless we let them. But if we pray, we believe, and we do what you told us to do and stand on the Word, stand on the blood, stand on repentance, and stand on that resurrection, that there is nothing that can come against you that can defeat us and you. Because you don't lose. And I want to be backed by you in the power of the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember our new church dog, sweet doggy Bella. Remember all the people right now that have emailed us about sickness and health. And remember a pastor I'm talking about. I want him healed and getting back in the pulpit. Lord, thank you for blessing us more than we could ever imagine. And thank you for allowing this to get the more voices and the more people and get the word out. Because I'm ready for you to come back. And I know the only way you're coming back is if I win more people to Christ. Lord, thank you for loving us and giving us a hope in the future. And we ask this in your name. Amen. Now, if you have any questions, you want prayer, we're praying church. EncounterChrist.org. If you want to be part of the giving, go over. It says give. It can be reoccurring or one time. Remember, the tithe is gross, not net. And you give to where you're being fed. So if your home church, if I'm not it, give it to your home church if you're being fed there. And you're always welcome to seed here because we have para ministries we support. Uh, we help people that are in need. We're constantly doing something. And we're constantly out witnessing for people and praying over them. So if you have any questions, email me. If it's hateful, don't send it. I'm not going to read it anyway. Remember, I have dyslexia. I have to have people read stuff to me anyway. 
Uh, you wonder how I can read scripture? I read through it during the week and I memorize the words. Uh, you can always tell when I memorize scripture. So if you have any questions though, don't be afraid. We got Jesus. We got the blood. We got repentance. We got, we got the cross. We got the resurrection. But none of it's worse than anything if the hands and feet of God don't do what he tells us to do. So this week, I would soul search and make sure I'm doing what God told me to do and get in it, and then we can win, and then we can keep a free country forever because God made covenant with this place just like he did with Israel. All right, I'm Pastor Scott Farrell. Thanks so much for coming by, and I'll see you next week.